Now we need to add another label to this map. So I will lock the layer called root. I'll turn on the visibility for key and labels and then unlock that as well. Now I'm going to zoom into this region around here. I'm going to pick up my type tool. Notice that when I click and hold down on there, there are seven different type tools. In all honesty, um, sort of 95% of the time, the type tool at the top of there will serve you extremely well. Um, now, in this case, if I click on the type tool, uh, just make sure that I have, of course, left clicked on my key and label there to make sure it's active. And if I was to hover my cursor here and then click and hold down the mouse, keep it held down and drag out, that would create what's called area type. So it is a text frame within which you can make the text frame bigger and smaller, which does not affect the size of the text, but we may well have overset text as we saw in a previous video. So in this case, I am going to type in uh, Houndkirk Moor, which is the name of this place here where this, this hill is. And then from here, I'm going to hit the escape key to go out to select the text frame with a selection tool. And you can you notice here now if I drag and move this around, you'll see that the text frame changes in size, but the text doesn't. Now, if I make it too small, as you see before, we've got overset text. Now, it is possible that you can convert this text frame into what's called point type. And now you will have to make sure that all the text is visible because if it's not and you convert this area type frame into point type, it will delete anything that's not visible. So having done that now, if I hover my cursor over this uh, nodule at the end and double left click on it, it converts it to point type. Now you'll see that it acts very much differently. If I click and hold down the mouse and drag, I can scale it left and right, obviously hold down the shift key. And it's great for things like labels. If it's a diagram or a map, for example, um, you can obviously scale that to any size you need it to be. So it's very flexible from that point of view. You don't have to worry with constantly resizing text frames. If you wanted to take it back into area type mode, hover over the same symbol, double left click. And again, now we're in area type mode where the frame dictates the size, but doesn't affect the text in there. So that is the difference between point type and area type. Um, incidentally, you can create point type by picking up the type tool and just left clicking with the mouse. If you don't drag, it will just give you the word lorem ipsum in the dummy text. And in this case here, I could obviously call this Hancock Morrigan and then hit the escape key. And you can see here, scaling that does the same thing. So to create area type, you click and hold down the mouse and drag out to draw an area type frame. Uh, and if it's just one line of text for a label or a diagram, just left click with the mouse and create point type. Now I am going to click on the original text frame. I'm going to delete that. And we're going to focus on this point type version in here for the next video.